All right, guys, let's take a look at this very special Captain Willard. Thankfully, Jerry allowed me to check out. This is a new watch that he purchased and had sent directly to me. Now, this is a little bit larger than the standard Willard, so we'll cover the case size on this real quick. But before we do, let's check out the model number. This is the SLA049, retail price $3,100. 8L35 movement, so this is definitely on the higher end of the uh, Willards for sure. This is a limited edition. This one happens to be number 823 of only 1,200 made. So case, 44 millimeter wide, 49 lug to lug, drilled lugs, 13.2 millimeter thick, sapphire crystal up top, 20 millimeter lug width, bracelet tapers down to 18, you have the standard Seiko dive extension. You have the milled center part, stamped outer, four micro adjust, double pusher, oversized keeper, signed Seiko. Should be a pin and collar system. Not too difficult to size. And you have this integrated into the case crown guards here with a knurled crown. A little tricky to get at, if I'm honest, but this is to kind of replicate the case design from a 1970s Seiko that was actually worn and used by a Naomi Yomura, which is what this is named after, who was a Japanese explorer. So this is to commemorate that exploration. Using the 8L35, beats at four hertz or 28,800 vibrations per hour. Has 26 joules, 50 hour power reserve, and it is a date model. You can see the date kind of tucked away in between the four and the five. Black date, disc with white printing. Doesn't upset the balance of the dial too much versus how a lot of them where they did at the six o'clock. Because this is limited edition, that is going to make a collectible. 1200 in a Seiko lineup, even at $3,100, is gonna make a collectible, guys, straight up has a Zerostro polishing and I was comparing the polishing on this and you can see my reflection there and it's a little smudged but the polishing on this versus like my Breitling or even the Submariner is superior. It is, this is more mirror like than the Rolex and the Breitling, 100%, hands down. So beautiful, coin edge bezel on this, 120 click. The bezel insert on this is I think some sort of metal, steel possibly and then has their proprietary coating on it to make it look kind of ceramic-like, but you can see it has that beautiful blue. The blue of the bezel insert and the dial are to pay tribute to the skies over the mountain range that Naomi explored over. The other thing as we zoom in here, you can see there's a texture on the dial. And I don't know if those indices are pressed or if they are applied, it's very difficult for me to tell on this one, but maybe you guys know, but unless I take this thing apart and take the dial off the movement, I'm not gonna know for sure. But you can see the finishing on it is beautiful. Also, there's a, uh, an ind uh, indent here on the side of the case that is absent on the standard Willards. You can see it there clearly. It gives it a nice feature to the case. A little more depth to that cushion case and help separate that beautiful brushing to that polishing. Excellent bracelet, very comfortable. Here's a look at the case back. 80th anniversary. That is the anniversary of Naomi Yamura and its exploration. Here it is next to an MM200 reduced. Definitely a wider cushion case. I don't have a standard turtle here. I do have a Detroit Mint, which is very similar to a turtle case. And you can see the difference there for sure. It's similar, but it's way more refined and larger. Let me pop it on my seven and a quarter inch wrist and you can see what it looks like. It is not sized, but you can still see it definitely plants a little bit more firmly on the wrist than the standard Willard. Extremely comfortable. 
I think Jerry will enjoy this. Excellent bezel action. Very refined feeling in the Seiko lineup. Should have a really good loom. It does line up as well. The chapter ring on this is very dark. It's not just a standard brush like you would see in the MM200. As you can see there, it's very dark. So I don't know if it's that blue or if it's actually black. It's hard to tell. It also comes with this special silicon strap. It has a metal insert there to work stronger with the pin and collar. It has very good clean matching hardware. This hardware almost even looks like that ever brilliant steel. It's even shinier, I think, than the steel that's on the case. I could be wrong on that, but it almost looks that way. And just for kicks, why not? We'll show it next to the sub, because I know a lot of people enjoy that. See the disparity between a $8,000 watch and a $3,000 watch. Both icons in the industry. Let's kill the lights and check the loom on this bad boy. Very potent loom, very potent. Easily readable. And you have the full, so as soon as you go low light, it looks like a no date dial. Whereas like on the MM200, you have that three o'clock indice interrupted by the date that's absent on this Captain Willard here. Thanks for watching guys, and I'll catch you on the next vid.